almost Thanksgiving break, Gauchos, and welcome to your last episode of UCSB TV for fall quarter. I'm Maddie Whalen, UCSB TV producer. Now we all may be feeling the burnout of a jam-packed fall, but just because we wish we could do nothing doesn't stop the fact that there's still a ton going on on our campus. This week, sports anchor Chris Williams will share some exciting men's soccer updates as they begin to wrap up their season, as well as explain the phenomenal start our basketball teams have had to their season. Then, events anchor Priscilla Flores will showcase how you, the students, are feeling about this year's Thanksgiving break. Get ready for a fun episode. Let's get it started with Chris. What it do, baby boo? This is Chris Williams, your UCSB TV sports anchor and guy who genuinely has no idea why the line at Panda Express in the USEN is always so long. Do they not know that people like to eat at times that have always been synonymous with eating? I believe it's called lunchtime for a reason. And as an eatery, you should probably be prepared for that time of day. Also, Pan Express, I think you're playing a little fast and loose with the term express. Waiting 20 minutes just to find out that you aren't serving fried rice as a means to streamline the dining experience doesn't seem very express to me. And can you please stop being so stingy with the fortune cookies? If I have to wait 20 minutes for my express food, I at least want to read a vague antidote about my future. I probably shouldn't continue to make life decisions based off a cookie that was reluctantly tossed at me, but my life sucks. Now, let's talk sports. Since I last talked at you, our men's and women's basketball teams had their home openers. Our women's team beat LMU by a score of 61 to 58, with Danae Miller putting up 18 points in a win on seven of 13 shooting. Okay, we see you. Then the next day, the Thunderdome witnessed a butt whooping as our men's basketball team beat the brakes off of San Francisco State to the tune of 119 to 65. Now, for all you dogs out there, that's like 17 dog years to 9.285 dog years. That's if you were wondering. And there were four gauchos that were in double digits. Guard Josh Pierre Lewis was like, <laughs> balling. Man, we sent SF State back up north looking like a raggedy Santa Claus the day after Christmas because their bag was empty. You know, like the spot where Panda Express normally would keep their fried rice? But look, the big news comes out of Harder Stadium, where our men's soccer team beat UC Irvine in the Big West Tournament Championship game by a score of 4 to nil. That means 4 to 0. UC Irvine was pissed. Those anteaters went home with a super empty stomach. Well, I guess they did eat those four goals we put on them. Now look, by winning, the, the Gauchos secured an NCAA tournament bid where they played UCLA on Thursday. And while our Gauchos gave a valiant effort this season and won the Big West Tournament, their season has come to an end. Thanks for putting on for UCSB. You made us all so proud and you played some amazing soccer. Well, until 2022, when you finally made it to the front of the line at Panda Express, my name's Chris Williams. Now to you, Priscilla. Happy almost Thanksgiving, Gauchos. Only a couple more days until we can pretend we all like turkey, even though we know the real star is mashed potatoes. And of course, we can't forget the essential question we've been asked since we were children, what are we thankful for? I'm here today on campus to see how students are feeling about the upcoming holiday and see where their gratitude lies. All right, so what would you say is your least favorite part about Thanksgiving? Oh, going home. <laughs> going home. I'm staying here for Thanksgiving. We're doing a Friendsgiving. How come? Why don't you like going home? Um, my parents are divorced and I don't like to choose between them, so I just like to create my own Thanksgiving. Um, my least favorite part about Thanksgiving um, actually probably is the history behind it. Um, it's definitely like controversial and um, comes from a very violent past, so I don't love that. But The crazy political conversations at the table with extended family. So you're probably leaving my friends from school. I guess this is more personal. I'm an out-of-state student, so it's really expensive to go home, so I'm usually here for Thanksgiving. So yeah. I think the thing I don't like about Thanksgiving here at UC Santa Barbara, it's only like two days. Like, what the heck? I can't even like do much. And like, I wish there was like a bigger deal around it for like professors to understand that like some of us want to spend time with family. I don't know. Like, if the food's disappointing, that'll probably be like my like least favorite like thing for Thanksgiving. Least I guess just bad food too. I mean, I really do love Thanksgiving, so I, I feel like there's not much to hate about it. And do you actually like turkey? Yeah, I'm a fan with a little bit of cranberry sauce. Kind of. It's not like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> no, it's too dry. But the skin is good. The skin is good, but I don't like turkey meat. <laughs> I don't eat meat, so no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. it's protein. I like it. It's protein. I prefer ham instead. You're nasty. Yeah. You're disgusting. <laughs> and what are you guys grateful for this year? Uh, uh, I'm just grateful to be like 
fortunate enough to like be here and just in general and um, that's yeah mainly that's what it is. Yeah I'm grateful just to be on campus I'm glad we're like back on campus and just grateful that my parents are paying for my college tuition. I'm thankful for where I live where I go to school um, all my beautiful friends. For my family and for UCSB and um, yeah and getting to go home for Thanksgiving. I'd say my friends at school my family at home and definitely the opportunity to go to school at UCSB. I'm really grateful for the, my family as well as my friends. I think, like, especially this year, um, I'm able to spend Thanksgiving with her. So, like, she'll take me home and, like, with her family. So it's really nice. Yeah, I'm really thankful that my big is going to be coming home with me because he's out of state. So I bring him home with me, and it's going to be really fun. And what are you thankful for this year? <laughs> UCSB TV. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Gauchos. Here at UCSB, we are grateful for you and this year. I'm Priscilla Flores, UCSB TV. Back to you, Maddie. And with that, UCSB TV is nearing the end of our fall season. But before we go, we just want to share how thankful we are to have had the quarter we did. We transitioned back to our makeshift in-person studio, got to meet so many students through features, highlights, and random questions on the street, and most of all, had each other by our sides through it all. None of this would have been possible without the student and faculty support. But there is one person in particular that UCSB TV could never function without, and that's Andy Dorr, our supervisor. Andy has been the man behind the scenes of UCSB TV since its start in 2014. Andy makes this whole show possible by setting us up with the best equipment, advising us on best practices for filming, and most importantly, being our biggest hype man. We are so sad to announce that this quarter is Andy's last with us. As he now transitions into his retirement, we are so happy to see him get his well-deserved break. But here at UCSB TV, we'll miss him more than we can ever explain. We gathered our crew and some of Andy's coworkers to show just how thankful we are for him. This one's for you, Andy. Congratulations on your retirement, Andy. I'm going to miss sharing the office with you in all of our chats, but I know you have so many trips planned and projects planned, I'm sure. Thank you for your dedication to the AS Media Center and always the students. We're so happy for you. Andy, first of all, I want to say thank you for everything you've done for not just me and UCSB TV, but the entire UCSB community. Congratulations on retiring, and I hope that you get to relax kick back and not answer any questions of any students. I feel like you really want that. You know, when I started UCSB TV, which was only a few months ago, I was relieved to have you as our advisor or faculty member because of what you bring to the table. You're very knowledgeable, you're so kind, you're understanding, just very caring. And I feel like that gets lost on a campus like UCSB, where everybody's focused on research and being productive, and I'm not saying that you aren't productive, but it's just nice to have someone who's friendly and accommodating and caring. You know, I asked around uh, throughout campus and there was not one person who had something negative to say about you. And that is very strange in today's society. So thank you for being you, thank you for caring, and I know I had a pleasure working with you. And I'm sad to see you go, but you deserve it. Hi Andy, I just wanted to say a big thank you for helping us so much here at UCSB TV. We would not be the same without you. I hope you all the best and I wish you well and I really hope you come back and visit us. We'll miss you. Hi Andy, thank you so much for everything you've done for us here at UCSB TV. We couldn't have kickstarted our year or made amazing content without your guidance, advice, and kindness. So thank you. Thanks Andy for doing everything that you do for UCSB and much more than that. Uh, Andy is such a wonderful and brilliant and warm loving person and having his being in the Annex is what makes the Annex the Annex. And so I'm really sad and disheartened that you're not going to be here next quarter and for the rest of my time here and for the rest of UCSB's time here. And I know you said you have not vanished from the, you know, the planes of the world, but Kind of feels like it if you're not going to be here but it's okay because you're going to retire and you're going to have so much fun retiring and that's all that matters but anyways uh, thank you so much for everything that you do for ucsb tv without you ucsb tv wouldn't be where we are uh right now so thank you so much Hi Andy, thank you so much for all of your dedication to UCSB TV. Your passion and joy and care for the station never goes unnoticed and we are so grateful to have you as our advisor. We wish you the best of luck.
Baby, just want to say I love you and thank you so much. Um, I really hope you have a great retirement. And I just want to say I'm really thankful for you, you know, in the spirit of Thanksgiving because you've just been really helpful for us. Teaching me all the camera stuff has been really great. Helping me with the audio, it's just all around been a great mentor for me. Andy, you truly are one of the best people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. I'll never forget that during my second ever filming with UCSB TV, you came up to me and told me how well I was doing on camera. As a newbie to the crew, you gave me the confidence I needed to ever think it was possible to grow into such a role as producer. UCSB TV wouldn't look anything like it does today without your unwavering support. I hope you know how much you are appreciated and how much you will be missed. This Thanksgiving season, UCSB TV is thankful for you. Hello. I'm Judy Ann Dutcher, and I've had the pleasure of working with Andy for more than a dozen years. What's always struck me about Andy is his passion for engaging students. He's so dedicated to ensuring they reach their full potential. Andy had great vision for the Media Center, which he grew to include many items and services that have taken the center to a robust and professional level. I admire Andy's pursuit of his interests in music and photography, the latter of which I am showcasing in this video. His energy and enthusiasm will be missed. I wish him luck in his retirement, enjoying his hobbies and spending quality time with his honey. We'll see you in the new year, Gauchos. Get through those finals, celebrate hard this holiday season, and keep an eye out on our social media pages for any winter season updates. I'm Maddie Whalen, UCSB-TV.